oof, I'm looking rough. But if you're watching this, good morning. It is my wedding day. Yeah. And as you can see, it's a bit of a rainy day. And I've already accepted the fact the wedding will probably have to be inside though yesterday it said it was going to rain all day today at the wedding time it says it's going to be about a 40 percent chance of rain and then uh, at four when i'll still be taking pictures it might not be raining i don't want to get my hopes up but it's looking better than yesterday because i was pretty bummed i want it to be outside <laughs> so i didn't really well i didn't really make a big engagement announcement but yeah if you don't know jose and i lived together like all of quarantine at home and just we kind of felt like to give something positive during coronavirus obviously it's a very horrible time but uh something really good came out of it for us and a lot of the venues were open and available everything that we wanted was available due to um, all of the cancellations going on and it just worked out we were able to pull together something really quickly uh, we wanted this one to be small obviously because of the condition of the world and um if you don't know Jose is from Spain his family's in Spain so they couldn't come to this so we want this one to be small like just my immediate family really is going to be there it's under 20 people and then in a couple years we're going to save up and then we're going to have a bigger wedding in spain kind of the more traditional celebration but i don't know i think it's really fun i'm really excited this wedding though the last two weeks very stressful because we had a covid scare like this past week i've been making sure <laughs> or bothering jose not to get sick and i get a call on wednesday that he does not feel good at all and it is actually like covid symptoms and so i'm stressing all day because i have to wait for him to get tested he calls me it comes back negative i feel big relief i'm on my way to go see him and then I walk in and he is out, like in bed, chills, over a, like, I would say you probably had like 103, 104 fever. It was, oh my, he was radiating heat and I was about to lose it. I was so sad. I thought we were going to have to cancel. Well, when he went to the doctor, he didn't have COVID, but they said they think as long as the result, test results come back negative, that he has pharyngitis, which is like an infection in the throat. Um, and I thought we were gonna have to cancel it because he was dying on Wednesday, but I guess the antibiotics kicked in and then he felt better Thursday morning. So I was sad it was gonna rain all week and then I thought we were gonna have to cancel because Jose <laughs> was dying. So the fact that he was even healthy enough to make it was a bit of a win. So at the very least, uh, that made me less sad about the rain. But we'll see. We'll see how today goes. All right, so I'm going to give you a tour of the room we're staying in for a couple nights. We're staying three nights. Two nights in this room. And then we last second added on another room. We have, this is the alcove room, I believe it's called. We are staying in Lansdowne Resort in Leesburg, Virginia. For all of my local East Coast people. It's really beautiful. I will show you around the hotel later, but this is a nice room. Obviously, it's a bit more pricey than a normal room, but super cute. Hi, that's Jose. If you don't know him, I'm wearing this robe that's way too big for me. And nice big TVs, my our stuff, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit lived in right now. This is where I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna move this desk to get a little bit of more light because we're gonna use all the light that we can take. And then this is a view. The only thing, love this room, but the bathroom is a bit small and like outdated. That's just me being picky, I love this room. But you have a sink, 
And then in here, it's just like an older bathtub and a toilet. It's a little bit small. So if it wasn't so rainy, this is where the ceremony is supposed to be. I think we're going to end up having it inside because Jose wants to do like a live stream or Google Meet with his family and it's just easier inside. But I'm hoping the rain stops so we can get some photos here. It is so picturesque. I love it. I just wish the weather was nice so we could be out here. So for breakfast, I got a Belgian waffle, we have a fruit cup, and then Jose got some sort of omelet. What is that? omelet. Yeah. Looks good, but mine looks better. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. mm. mm. Look how pretty this is. Can you see how pretty that is? If there wasn't rain everywhere. So, mi amor needed to steam something because he bought this 20 bucks steamer. Not like she spent a thousand or a fortune. So she see. needs, <laughs> no matter what, to steam my shirt. Oh Hopefully my it doesn't burn. Look at that. Is it working? It was like that before. <laughs> <laughs> my arm hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a hair appointment in about half an hour. I was gonna just do my own hair, but I decided since they have a hair salon here, I'm just gonna get like in loose curls and then I always love a flower crown so I'm gonna have a flower crown in my hair. I hope it's gonna be pretty. Um, I opted to go for that instead of a veil. Um, since it's just a small wedding, there's no need. I feel like to go super traditional. I think, you know, in a couple years we do plan on having a really traditional wedding, but not this time around, kind of doing it how I want to, laid back and make up. As a bridal makeup artist, I've always thought, like, would I have somebody do my own makeup? And absolutely not. I don't think I would be happy with anybody else doing my makeup besides me. Um, so I've already done a trial run on my makeup. So I know what I'm using. So I'll share that with you in a few hours. But that's kind of what I'm doing and what's going on right now. All right, you guys. So I feel like... The chaos has started as far as decorating. I had to get my hair done. I do plan on kind of recurling a few pieces to more my liking because typically I do do a bit bigger. But um, plus with the humidity going on, my hair is losing the curls. So I'm going to redo that in a little bit. But for now, it is me time. We are gonna do some makeup. I will do a full in-depth explanation video of me doing my makeup again for you guys. But for now, what I think I'm going to do is just do it quietly, enjoy myself. It's really hot in here. I need to turn on the AC. Goodness. Jose likes the room it's super hot. I can't deal with it like a billion in one products. All right, take a look at this chaos. For somebody who does bridal makeup as a job, whew, I'm not very organized. All right, I'm just gonna play some music and get ready. So here's what the final makeup's looking like, minus the lips. I went pinky, um, kind of fixed up my curls. So sun came out. There's like 30 minutes left until we get married or until the ceremony starts. And I was like, can we move everything outside? So 
I feel horrible, but it's like all we wanted was to have it outside and the sun came out just in time, so I had to, I had to. So I feel like everything just happened so quickly. I didn't bring my camera. We ended up being able to have the wedding outside. It was a beautiful sunny day. We got gorgeous photos, uh, just everything lined up. Everything was perfect. I wish I had video, I don't, but I'm going to insert some photos for you guys and we're going to go to dinner. I'm going to change. Let me show you. Here's my dress. Super beautiful. I love it. This is actually from Azos, you guys. So simple. Um, my hair is kind of fallen. It looks really pretty. And then the flower crown and I just... So what I figured out through this vlog is I'm not very good at vlogging. I forget to film everything. Uh, we just got back from dinner. I'm looking a hot mess. I ate so much. My belly is <laughs> popping out. But I thought I'd show you what I wore at least after the fact. I took the flower crown out. Figured it might be a bit much. I found this super cute dress at Nordstrom on sale uh, like i said it's a little tighter than normal at the current moment then i have these super cute shoes these are the shoes that i wore <sighs> the plan is we're gonna take a shower take this disgusting makeup off and i'm gonna go to sleep it was way too long it was, today. A, it was a long day we were out in the heat for a while because of pictures and the ceremony and all that I needed to specify and the stress. So I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! I totally keep failing at this vlog, but we are at the melting pot for dinner. So this, mm, we got spinach artichoke. Mm. These are our dippers. I skipped the salads, but we have, he got the steak, I got, I don't remember, this is not my least favorite part of the melting pot, I think it'll be his favorite because he's a meat lover, oh, but we are about to go in, and time for the best course dessert, they gave us this cute little cute rat, how do you feel? Excited, let's go. We are so full though. Let's dive in. We're so full. <laughs>